please let me go You like to love so hard And then you throw it away You like to open scars And then you blame it on me You're someone I can never be with You joke about my flaws and weaknesses of Wind Tower, which is right behind me up there. We tried to do this about a month ago and it was snowing and cold up there. So we're trying it again. This is the one that got away. So this is about 10K with an elevation gain of around 800 to 900 meters. I can't remember the full stats, but it is right up there. We're gonna have an amazing view today. I'll see you guys in the next clip. beautiful Tiffany's down there somewhere right there <laughs> so rim wall is right in front of me and then wind tower yeah. is right up there so I think we have like one more cliff band which is this and then we'll be at the meadow so very very excited I'll see you guys in the next clip I've only done this hike twice, but this is where we usually stop to eat. It is stunning right now, you guys. So we're about an hour away from the summit. We're super close. Um, it is just behind us, but this lake view, how gorgeous is this? So I will see you guys in the next clip.
Okay, so this is the view. Lake behind me, Spray Lakes Valley over there. And then in front of me on this side, that is the true summit of Wind Tower. But we're gonna go down the little slope and to the end of the trail or end of the hike. So we're almost there, super close. It's just been straight up for the past like kilometer. It's been a lot of this, this type of like rocky terrain. We're almost there. I'll see you in the next clip. Things that you wouldn't believe. I was lost until I found that I'm invincible. Nobody gonna bring me down. summit and we're almost there according to my all trails map we are super close so come on this journey with me Visa is not too far down she's getting there also I'm so excited for this you guys I've been wanting to complete this for so long and I can finally check it off my list in about like two minutes from now. Holy crap. Oh my god. I see it. Yeah, I see it. Oh wow. It is stunning up here. We're gonna make it to the summit. I'm gonna walk along the ridge to the other side a bit. Let's just make it, we're almost there. I think this is like a wind shelter. I wonder if there's a summit register. It's just a wind shelter. It gets super windy up here. Let's go see the other side. Oh my god. Oh my god, I made it. Oh my god. Ah! That's it. That is pure joy, you guys. That is pure joy. Holy. Holy. Look at that. We're here. I wonder what that one is, the one that's right in front of me. It looks like a nice little ridge walk. I don't know how you get there, but there's that. So Westlands Pass is just behind that cliff band. So get that view of Westlands Pass. If we decide to stop there later on, you get Wind Ridge. I believe that's Wind Ridge. I actually did that one last year. Thoroughly enjoyed it, it was great. And here we are at the summit of Wind Tower. Give you guys a little pano of the view before I switch you guys over. I will likely see you in the after hike summary because this is hard to do, holy crap. Okay, so this is just a pano of the general area, Mount Lougheed one right there. Mount Lougheed and you see little Lougheed right there one of my favorite hikes ever 
and we've made it. I'm gonna snap some photos with Visa and we're probably gonna head back down. I will see you guys in the after hike summary after I take a million photos up here because the view is absolutely stunning. Absolutely worth it, 100%. Recommend this one if you're into hard hikes and you want a little bit of a challenge, this one's great. It's not too hard, but it's a challenge for sure. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll see you in the after hike summary. Bye. First time opening. Oh, no, open this. It's oh, kind of hard gosh. to open, yeah. You write your name on the inside. I don't think I have a pen. There should oh, be a pen in there. Yeah. Okay, what's in there? I'm gonna put my business card in there too. Oh yes! Oh, that's your first the, one. I think this was the um like a family earlier. Yeah? It oh yeah. Like okay, let's An sign it. Grind to the top. Oh, what else is like there? There's treasures in there. Subway. Subway gift card. There's a gift card in there, you guys. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> I would never wait for something to let it go to waste. With everything at stake. Mm. I thought I would take it all back. I just want to make this thing last. But we're running out of time We were doing alright Holding on but I'm losing the fight Could we run away? I know if we just hit ground Running, closing off all the world with the light coming in
welcome to my after hike summary for wind tower okay so i did this a while ago i'm gonna fully admit that i am super behind on my hiking content even though i'm trying to push it out as fast as i can i am still super behind and i did this one back in september i did this one back on september 8th so i'm quite behind on these videos i'm so sorry but i'm hoping that i'll catch up by the end of november because then vlogmas starts and i want to be more current because the conditions back in september are not how they are right now it's completely winter outside now for this particular hike this was one of my favorite hikes that i did this year seriously i loved loved it so this one was 9.7k with an elevation gain of 1005 meters so this was a redemption hike because I first tried to do this back in August and I had really bad conditions. So it was windy, it was cold, I was not prepared for rain or snow. It was actually snowing closer to the top back in August and my friend and I had to turn back around. So if you guys want to see my first attempt at Wind Tower, that is in the description box below. I'll leave it down there, but it's basically my West Wind Pass hike. That was my first attempt at Wind Tower because basically you have to go through West Wind Pass to get to Wind Tower. A couple things about this trail. Number one is it's not an official trail, so it's not marked very well or at all actually. There is a couple ribbons here and there in the beginning of the trail that kind of help you along the way to West Wind Pass, but honestly, the trails are braided, they're confusing, and if you don't stay right, you could end up in the tree somewhere and you're gonna have to like find your way back to the main trail somehow, which is confusing. So when in doubt, stay right, especially for the beginning of the hike. You can go to West Wind Pass, have a look at the viewpoint, but if you are doing Wind Tower, I promise you the views are so much better at the top of Wind Tower than at West Wind Pass. When you're at West Wind Pass, you're going to basically make a right turn and you're going to see the trail very well. It's very, very noticeable from here. Not so much on the way down, but going up, you can see the trail. It's very, very well defined, very easy to follow from here, from West Wind Pass. So you're going to continue along the trail for a bit. There is some viewpoints along the way. You have views of Spray Lake, which is absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite lake views. It's my one of my favorite lakes to photograph. I just think it's really pretty. And I've done a lot of hikes around this area where that is your view and I love it. So you can actually see Little Lougheed from here. If you want a similar view, you really liked Little Lougheed. This one is slightly better <laughs> to be honest. So you continue on up. Basically the last part of this hike, I would not consider it a scramble, but it's very steep and there's loose rock. So just stay on the path and you'll be fine. There is a very defined path at this part of the hike. So you can definitely see where it is. It's loose rock, but it's very visible. So from here, you're about 800 meters away from the top. Your last 800 meters is gonna be where you gain your elevation. It's gonna be the steepest part of the hike and it's gonna get you to the top of Wind Tower. So now at the top of Wind Tower, there's actually service. My friend actually ended up doing a live up there and there's also a summit register so make sure you look for the summit register it's actually a black container it's not a pink box it's a black container there is kind of like a wind shelter up there as well but we had really great conditions this day i'm so happy because the first time was just super miserable and this time around the conditions were great it was not windy it wasn't cold and we just had a great experience just taking photos and stuff at the top so that's that we started to make our way back down and we kind of lost the trail right around the time where you would get back to West Wind Pass, we took the wrong trail down, which it, like I said, it gets very confusing at certain points of the hike to know where you're going. So from here, we went the wrong way. We went a very, very steep way down. The thing is this trail has a lot of varying terrain. It has cliff bands, it has loose rock, it has grassy meadows, it has treed sections, it has rock slabs. It literally has it all. And the views at the top of Wind Tower are 100% worth it. This one, like I said, it was one of my favorite hikes that I have done all year long. I would do it again. 
honestly, I would do it again. I really enjoyed it. And that is all for this video. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I'll let you